This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator, formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Jesse looks very heated. You lied to me. You tricked me into trusting you. All this stuff you said about being friends was a lie. I know. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? <gasps> no, no! Please! probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well... I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal, at any rate. I... I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. You! Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. Okay. If they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? Well, that was unexpected. No. Just Jesse. Ugh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Keep up! Come on! Come here, it'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. I'm coming. Good. I appreciate you being considerate. My job's on the line here, too, you know. I hope Hadrian's in a good mood. I hate being sent out on dumb errands. Like this one. Hey, Slab. Do you even like this job? You know, it's got its benefits. I get to beat up people, and most people are scared of me, which is cool. It's not bad, but the old builders aren't so great. Wow. So this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> mm, just do that a whole bunch. Mm. This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. And thanks to you actually helping us keep on schedule, we have some extra time to enjoy the place. I'll go get Hadrian. Oh, and don't touch anything! Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. Huh, no portal atlas. A Man Forever Voyaging by Sorin. Another one? Where do these keep coming from? Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. Psst. Hey, Bat. Hey, Batsy. Woo! 
Oops! I've never seen a quartz desk before. Wow, an all quartz wall. Impressive. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there? Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. It's quite the little journey. A humble adventurer. Lost in the portal network. Now, just one more victory away from owning the Atlas. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all... He's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow. But I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. I don't really do quiet exits. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I could ask the same of you. I know a lot more than you might think, Spardo. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. <laughs> of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play alone. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait. My treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. How to bring back some things you might be interested in. Go! <laughs> Olivia? Hey, Jesse. Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here! Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. We've been trying to find you guys this whole time. It's been nuts. You mean Petra and Lucas are still with you? That's such a relief! Yeah. Ivor, too. Oh. Yay. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just... wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Sup? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Hadrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright. You know that? What? I told you, bro. Like, my name is Reuben, but the Reuben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though seriously, dude, big fan. 
Lavia. So you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends, and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? You're messing with the wrong girl. And her friends. Yeah, they're awesome! Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah, except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. Oh yeah, no, I take that back. It's a terrible deal. No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. We'll play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you. And you won't win anyway. Slap! Get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. <sighs> You're okay! What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons? But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh. Guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. I don't trust Hadrian. No way I was gonna take any shady deal from him. You're right. You're probably right. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably. While claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. Well, he seems nice. The least interested in torturing people, at any rate. Huh. A good observation. He always was the most level-headed of those three. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal, and he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good. There's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. <sighs> Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. 
Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. It's useless. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh yeah, because if it were not for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... <gasps> no way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait. Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Of course he is. It's all a part of how the old builders keep their control over everyone. That's awful. Seriously. But we can beat them. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Like they got us all on leashes. Hey, the old builders don't know that we know. We have surprise on our side. Surprise, awesome. That'll be a ton of help when a gladiator's running at me with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but um, those gladiators are like super tough. <laughs> like max level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, I mean totally OP. Yeah, but so are we, you guys. Sure, their fists are huge and their weapons are really scary, but we've all got fists and stuff, too. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? If we combine all of our fists and stuff, we're going to be like ten times as tough as the gladiators. Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! Doing awesome. You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you. And I believe that we will be free! Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah. That last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs>